Hi, welcome to our channel. If you have been looking for a Christian workout, you've come to the right place. Thank you for joining us. Today, we're gonna do some rev on the mat. So we're gonna do some stretching, some lengthening, some muscle building, and let's get started. Well, TV, my name is Michelle Tupin, and this is my brother over here, Aaron. And today we're going to bring you a rev on the mat. And our focus today is actually going to be on our arms. So grab a mat and join us. We're going to start in a seated posture and we'll get started. All right. So I invite you to come to a comfortable seated position. Perhaps you rest your hands on your thighs with your palms up and your fingers spread. Roll your shoulders back and down. Lengthen through your spine. So imagine that you've got a little string attached to the top of your head from the ceiling and somebody's gently pulling that string. Find that length your vertebrae, draw that lengthening all the way up through the spine, and just breathe with me. Deep inhale in through the nose, deep exhale out through the mouth. In Isaiah 30 verse 15, it says, in quietness and trust is your strength. Settle into the freedom of your breath in quietness and strength. I'm sorry, in quietness and trust is your strength. In quietness and trust is your strength. Would you do this? I wanna invite you to take a deep inhale and as you inhale, whisper the words, in quietness and trust. And as you exhale, I find strength. in quietness and trust. Inhale. On the exhale, I find strength. How easy is it for God to get your attention? something to consider in your busyness in your daily living does it feel as if the father has a hard time grabbing your attention and even your affection right now I'm going to share with you something that really spoke to me written by a gentleman by the name of J.R. Miller in all of life it is the quiet forces that have the greatest effect. The sunbeams fall silently all the day, yet what immeasurable energy there is in them. Gravitation is a silent force with no rattle of machinery, no noise of engines, and yet it holds all the stars in perfect orbit with its invisible chains. The dew falls silently at night, and yet it touches every plant and leaf and flower with new life and beauty. Friends, rushing makes us rebellious. I see it in my own life. When I'm rushing, I'm not my best. I'm irritable snippy and I certainly don't reflect Jesus in my rebellious rush and furthermore I certainly don't breathe speak or act properly so consider this question before we get moving how do you keep your finger on your spiritual pulse 
so that you remain in rhythm with the Father's voice. Let's take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, would you just let your right ear fall down to your right shoulder? Just consider that question as you move and stretch these muscles in your neck, in your traps. Inhale, come back up to neutral. And then exhale as you bring your left ear down to your left shoulder. bring this right back up and then as you exhale just tuck your chin into your chest curl your spine roll your shoulders forward and then inhale pull the shoulders back as you gaze up high with your hands open eyes closed if that's comfortable for you come back to center take another deep breath in and deep breath out. Let's place the right hand down on your mat. We're gonna take that left arm and reach it high, take that bicep to the ear, stretch out the side body here, putting a little bit of pressure in your right hand so that you press your sits bone down on that left side opening up through the left rib cage all the way up through there inhale come back up and we'll do the other side just moving slowly with intention inhale up exhale over notice where you're feeling this in your body good and release this Take another deep breath in. Keep those shoulders back and down. Deep breath in. On your exhale, we're going to take a twist here. So whichever side you are inclined to go to first, we want to start our twist through the lower abdominals and then work that twist all the way up through the neck. Just gazing over your shoulder. And then inhale, coming back to your center. Let's switch our legs out. So whichever there are legs on top, it's gonna to come on bottom. Again, pull shoulders back and down. Inhale, and when you're ready, on the exhale, take your twist opposite side. Again, there's the invitation to really feel this in your body. And as you're feeling what you're feeling, I want to invite you to consider that question that I asked you a few moments ago. How do you keep your finger on your spiritual pulse so that you reign, remain in rhythm with the Father's voice? It's hard to do that in our busyness. It's hard to do that in the rush. Inhale, come back to center, please. All right, let's go ahead and make our way onto all fours, tabletop. So we're gonna place our wrists under our shoulders and our knees under our hips. Our fingers are gonna be spread. As you inhale, tuck your toes, take a nice deep breath in as you arch the spine, take the head and tailbone high. And then as you exhale, we'll untuck the toes, curl the spine by tucking the chin. Feel that stretch in between the shoulder blades. What do you notice here? Are you holding tension in between your shoulder blades? Inhale, let's come right back up to our cow. Let's notice this. Tuck the toes, get that stretch in the arches of the feet. Good, and one more time, exhale, press back into your cat. Curl your spine, tuck your chin. Good, last time, inhale, pressing right back up to your cow. Good. From here, I'm gonna invite you to just take some slow circles. So you can just 
really untuck your toes if you want to or if this is really ministering to your feet keep your toes tucked and feel this through the wrists moving through the shoulders good and then we'll go the opposite direction nice deep breath when you hear the words spiritual pulse what comes up for you you consider your spiritual pulse what where does your mind go in that where does your heart take you let's bring the big toes together please take the knees wide sit way back on the heels reach the arms forward as you melt the heart and if your hips feel tight if this just feels like oh this is just a little bit too much right now you could always use a block under your forehead or you could stack your fists and rest your forehead on your fists good just take a moment here to take a couple deep breaths in between your shoulder blades space behind the heart as you pull the shoulders back pull the head out of your shoulders as you drop the tailbone way back your spiritual pulse oh god is my spiritual pulse in rhythm with your voice or have i been living this hurried life and i'm just way off beat way out of rhythm Father's love and mercy is endless. He loves to bring his children back in rhythm with his voice. If that's your heart's desire today, just tell him. Take some deep breaths. He'll meet you there. Let's tuck the toes, please. Exhale, lift to your first down dog. We're going to lift those hips high. It's okay to take a, a bend in the knees here if that feels better in your body today. Okay, we want to pull the shoulders back like you have a, a sandbag resting in between your shoulder blades here. Pull the head out of the shoulders. It's okay if the heels don't touch your mat too. Don't worry about that. And then start to pedal. Let's wake up the backs of the legs a little bit. And as we do this pedaling here you'll notice we're kind of moving a little bit through the shoulders too so feel this notice this if there's one side that feels a little stickier than the other maybe stay there and take a few breaths my encouragement and hope for you through this gentle rev on the mat is that you really slow down and notice Notice the way this feels in your body. Notice what's coming up for you emotionally, spiritually, and physically. Good. From here, from your down dog, hips are lifted. I'm going to invite you to come into plank. So we're going to use our core strength here to pull our way through. And Aaron's going to drop down to his knees. That's always a beautiful option. Okay, we're going to just hang out here for just a few breaths, okay? And then use your core, push all the way back to your down dog. So just a few of these with your timing, your rhythm. Pull those shoulders back, gaze forward, draw the navel up toward your spine. Your legs are strong here, okay? And again, we're going to push our way all the way back. Good. And using that core, using the muscles in the arms, back to our plank. Let's drop down to the knees here. And then very slowly, with the arms brushing against the body, come down to a nice and gentle push-up. Again, moving with your rhythm your timing inhale as you come back up 
I would encourage you not to lock out your elbows, but keep some buoyancy there. Okay, exhale, come down. <sighs> Good. Inhale, lift up. Beautiful job. Good, and again, exhale, bring it down. And inhale, pull it up. Let's tuck our toes and press back to our down dog using the core pushing back with the arms, shoulders. Take another moment here to pedal. Now, those of you that want to, you are welcome to come down to child's pose. Take a couple breaths there. Good, for some of you, maybe you hang out in your down dog and you keep pedaling through this. So just taking a couple moments here. And when you're ready, we'll use our core, come right back to our plank. Good, again, there's a little buoyancy in the elbows. Okay, pull those shoulders back. Drop down to the knees. And from here, we'll come all the way back down. Let's take the arms wide this time. Okay. Nice job. Again, we'll bend the knees and inhale as we come up, keeping the core strong. And back down. Good. Inhale. Bring it up. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale, bring it down. Good, moving slowly, feeling your strength. Feel how strong you are. Keep your core engaged. Exhale, bring it back down. Good, let's lower the legs, bring the arms back in underneath the shoulders. We're actually going to tuck the arms in nice and tight and press up into what's called a baby cobra. So we're going to press the tops of the feet into our mats. Pull the head out of your shoulders, find that length in your cervical spine, and then gently inhale, pulling the shoulders back. Okay, so the grip here on your mat is really light. So. Maybe you could even lift your hands up off of your mat. And my hope is that you really feel this along the little muscles of the spine in the middle part of your back, the thoracic spine. Exhale, release. And let's push all the way back to child's pose. And from here, perhaps you sway the body from side to side. Sit way back on the heels. Take a deep breath. Make sure the arms are in line with your shoulders. Fingers are spread. We'll tuck those toes again. Exhale, lift back up to your down dog. Good. From your down dog to your plank. And from your plank, we're going to transition here to side plank. So Aaron's going to do the modification for that. Once you're in your side plank, really be aware of pulling that side body, the, the part of the body closest to your mat, up high, okay? And then opposite arm can come to your hip, or you can reach it high. Good. Again, there's buoyancy. You want to remember all these things that we do here in Rev on the Mat. We want to make sure that we're not locking our joints, okay? We're engaging the muscles around the joints, keeping some buoyancy there. Let's move back to plank. Take a deep breath. Drop down to the knees. Good. And then drop all the way back down. Let the arms brush against the body. And inhale, pull it up. Again, dropping down. Inhale, pull it up. Keep your core strong. Good, we're going to tuck our toes here, push all the way back to our down dog. Good, a couple down dogs to planks. Are you feeling this in your arms, Erin? <laughs> I hope you're feeling this in your arms. I know I am. You guys are doing great, no doubt. I know it. 
Last time, let's push back down dog. Good, and back to our plank. So this time, we're gonna do that opposite arm. Okay, so side plank. Lifting that side body high. Keeping buoyancy in the elbow. Good, and making our way back to our plank. Good, let's drop down to the knees. Push your way back to child's pose. Good, just take a deep breath here. Perhaps you take your palms together and slide your hands down your spine. Maybe you walk the elbows in and up. Sit back a little deeper on the heels. Really feel that beautiful pull in the triceps. That space between the shoulder blades too. Good, release the arms to your mat. Perfect job. Let's walk the hands to the upper right hand corner. Take a deep breath there. Maybe you hold the wrist with that opposite hand. And all the way over to the opposite side. Let's walk the hands back to center. Take a deep breath. And then let's make our way all the way back down to our stomach. We're going to take the arms. Take the right arm out nice and long. Left hand comes under that shoulder. Let's roll over onto that side. Just a gentle stretch there. If you wanted to, you could reach back for that leg. Or circles here works too. It's kind of a nice, add a little touch there to the lower half of the body. Good. Good. Inhales, you come back to the stomach, and then we'll switch sides. We'll do the other side here. So opposite arm comes out, opposite hand stays under the shoulder. Just kind of stretching out what you've done here, reaching back if you'd like, or maybe laying that leg down, or like Aaron's doing, keeping that, that the leg stacked. That's beautiful too. So either way, again, we're feeling this. We're feeling our feelings on every level, considering our spiritual pulse, Come back to the stomach, please. Hands come underneath the shoulders. We're gonna push all the way back once again to our child's pose. And from child's pose to our tabletop. Good, take a deep breath in to your cow. Deep breath out through the mouth into our cat. Good, and from cat, let's come all the way back onto the legs and come right back into that seated posture where we started, okay? Good. Let's take our left arm 90 degrees. We're gonna take that uh, left arm, reach it under, touching the palm, so eagle arms. Aaron's gonna offer a modification here for you, for those of you that just feel like, this is just a little too much in my shoulders today. We wanna honor our bodies. Right. Take a nice deep breath. And perhaps you roll your way forward here if you'd like to, just hinging from the hips, pulling the arms out. Take some deep breaths here, eyes are closed. I would love to encourage you, if you've enjoyed this video, would you consider hitting the like button? Would you consider donating so that we can continue to make these videos? Inhale, please come all the way up. 
and continue spreading the gospel, go ahead and release that, sending it to all the nations through the modality of fitness. But we can't do it without you. Let's switch sides here. Opposite arm comes under and over. Let's lift those fingers high, feel that pull. Go ahead and hinge your way forward if you'd like to. Take a deep breath. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, would you just whisper the words, the word sila? Inhale, come up. Release the arms. Just let the arms rest down on your legs right where we started. Shoulders back and down. Inhale. Exhale, sila. The word sila most often translates to stop and listen. It's placed strategically among the Psalms to force a pause for the worshipers. One more time, deep breath in. Deep breath out, sila. When God calls us to stop and listen, he's calling us to a place of rest. Let's bring the hands to the heart. Father, we give you full authority, Lord. Full authority, God, to be our spiritual pulse, Lord. God, I thank you for the depth of your love. I thank you, God, that you command rest. It's not just an idea, not just an invitation, although it is an invitation. <laughs> and it's a command because you know it's good for us. You know we need it. So Lord, I thank you for your presence. I thank you, God, for your love. And I thank you for your voice. May we continue, Lord God, to consider our busyness, to consider our rush, to quiet our minds, to hear your voice, so that we can be our best reflection of who you are. In Jesus' name. Thank you, friends. Thanks for joining me today. I'll see you next time.